The, um, the motion to call the question was not in order at the particular time. Ms. Hansen is correct that a speaker should not be um, interrupted while they have the floor. The other um, rule that she made reference to is that a, um, a member having obtained the floor while the debatable motion is immediately pending can speak no longer than 10 minutes unless he, or in this case, or she, obtains consent of the assembly. So Ms. Hansen's comments began at 7.55. I don't know exactly when the call to question was, but there's about two minutes left at most. And that's what I have left. Thank you. I'll continue. Um, so I'm suggesting that um, for the that it's not too late to stop, regroup, and do it the right way. I'm suggesting we hold off until the new board seated in December. We then we can take the initiative to reach out to the community and organize advisory teams to be involved in the process. I envision a more inclusive process. So what I would suggest, and even though I went with the school site council, that was just simply. A, um, one idea to bring in some decision-making bodies and make it a little bit more um, statistically accurate and a little bit more comprehensive with buy-in. So for each of the five strategic initiatives, and I broached this over a year ago, we would invite a cross-section of parents, staff, and representatives from business community organizations and city governments to be part of an advisory team for that single initiative. So for example, um, having excellent academic achievement, you'd have that advisory group which would really be responsible for buying into that, that initiative. The team is responsible for reviewing, revising, and prioritizing the objectives. They can take all of the data and information that's been collected that isn't statistically accurate and use that. They can take the dots and they can take that input and use that to really launch an advisory team. They'd also seek additional community and staff input as needed to finalize the objectives in their area including what Mrs. Mayo is suggesting, it may be one or two uh, or three top areas that we really want the district to focus on. But you have a community and staff advisory um, group. They then work in partnership with the board to finalize the strategic plan that the district would have to implement. That's how we get buy-in and accountability, which is missing right now, and that's how we do it right. It's not too late. We can stop and just implement that and get that buy-in. So to take action without a true community process, I think, shows contempt for the public, and I think the public deserves better than that. I think we need to put names to this and community buy-in. They deserve a meaningful process and a meaningful plan. Therefore, I move we postpone further action on the strategic plan until the new board is seated in December, and we can um, implement a more comprehensive community input um, process with advisory teams, and that's a motion to postpone. Is there a second to the motion to postpone? Hearing no second, we're back to the original discussion of amend, uh, to amend the motion to be the top two votes with the most votes in each area. Any other board discussion? I have just a couple of comments. I, I, I guess my, cons I mean, I mean, I understand what Ms. Mayo is, uh, I believe I understand Ms. Mayo's intent here. My concern is when you look at some of the items on the list where you get, and I'm j just look at the first section, academic excellence and learning, and I look at, you know, the, the highest vote getter, number 25, and I'm happy that, uh, that that is the highest vote getter, I think. Uh, something I've been talking about since 1993, probably, is, is having what's listed there in item number 1.7. But as you get down to items 1.1, 1 1.2, and 1.3, they're separated by uh, total of th three uh, or four votes, right? So um, where I can look at, say, 1.5, 1.4, and not necessarily say they're not important, I can say as we're trying to prioritize and come up with a manageable, manageable number of uh, items that we're going to focus on, understanding full well that our staff is working in areas uh, that include items 1.5 and include items uh, 1.4. So I, I recognize that our staff continues to, to move those, some of that stuff forward. I, I find it difficult to differentiate between uh, the top, the, the, who, who, who takes number second place. So I guess that's my concern. And, 
I think I would look to staff as as they begin to. I mean, I just look at all these and say that staff is in varying degrees working on each one of these, and um, you know, starting you know at this point taking things off the list. Uh, item number, you know, I, area number one is is pretty full. You know, area number two has got.